What's going on people? Welcome to the WTF show. I am Flex. And it's Rance. That's right, and we're here to go through the craziest WTF moments of the week. It has been a crazy week. <laughs> His face says it all. Let's take a look at some of the craziest action from this week's football gone by. Go on, let's have a look. Champions He's tapping that ass! On his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> so on this week's show, we've got a very special guest with us. The man, the myth, the legend, the Mr. It's time to go. <laughs> Mr. Claude Guna. <laughs> yes. Thanks for oh, joining nice. us. Oh, nice. How are you feeling? Uh, a lot happier. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Good weekend. I bet. Well, you're going to be joining us to go through some of the WTF moments. So let's take yeah. a look at them. All right, first WTF moment. Man United, epic comeback against PSG. Your boys get spanked by Rennie's FC, cold and flu, oh. indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go and lose to them. I did have indigestion after that. <laughs> George, like, what, what a week, what's going on? It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, just shows you a few days what can happen in football, you know? Yeah. I mean, coming back from Thursday night <laughs> and uh, the airport, as everyone knows what happened at the airport. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, there's a lot of Arsenal fans giving the players. Yeah, uh, I, was, I wasn't one of them, no. I, I was at the back there and yeah. uh, I, got, I didn't get involved. Yeah. Uh, but frustration because they have to wait for the players to get on the plane first and they weren't turning up and it got a bit delayed. See, and what's like in Europa League? Oh, airport, so small, that's you what I'm saying, bro. When, when you get, get slapped by the, by the ham and cheese Bournemouth, <laughs> isn't it, blood? Like, this is Europa League for you because. Yeah. Um, you go, you go to these places, and after shops are, are closed, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. I was expect, I was expecting old Rene to come out of the shop. You know? yeah, this Rance, is it. Um, look, crazy week, like that's Claude saying. That's how football can change. We went from a high to a low just like that. It was emotional, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's like bagging a worldie, then you take her back home, yeah? <laughs> and she's packing something bigger than you, blood. Like, that's how it felt. Like I was like, bro, like over the moon against Paris, and then, bro, like Calm back down, down to earth, innit? It's the Woolwich wankers, but it happens, isn't it? <laughs> that it happens. Bro. It does happen. At the end of the day, look, we was on such a high from Paris. Um, I'm, I, do you know what? I'm still gonna take positive. I'm still on a high from Paris. Being there in that stadium, last minute, you lot saw my reaction. It went everywhere. I don't care. I'm still gassed off the penalty in it, and I still think we're gonna get top four. You gonna get top four? I still think it was a corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would say that, mate. Yeah, I still think Harry Kane's penalty was still a pen. <laughs> <laughs> Next WTF moment, Claude and Rance is um, Real Madrid stuffed four-one at home by Ajax. Not a lot of people saw that coming. No, especially after the first leg when they had, uh, controlled the game. Yeah, two one. Yeah. And, yeah, quite a shock, isn't it? But Crazy, and some of the goals that Ajax scored as well. I mean, Dusan Tadic. He's You're a bad right. boy, though. Right, though. This is the same guy I knew he was yeah, a bad boy. Him. That's what shit man. I knew Tadic was a bad boy. He was the one player, yeah, at that team at the time, yeah. I thought, you know what, like, he can always do mm. something. He's talented. Yeah, but three sixties against Modric. Oh, that turn was dirt. So when he, he pulled like it. Like a little marathon. Yeah, 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 yeah he did. From the right hand side. Yeah, what's happened to Tadic? Yeah, he's injured. 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 Yeah, he's He's getting a bit of that a bit. That's the B-Tech. B-Tech's a very credible He's not the B-Tech Ronaldo, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Listen, yeah, I mean, the, the fans are on to bail saying that, you know, they, they want him out and all that, and his, his agents come out and say that's terrible. I think they should show a bit more respect, man. He's had some big moments for them in big games. Yeah, won the Champions League, didn't he? Yeah, he did, he Copa did. Del Rey. I celebrated Remember, that goal like... I thing. celebrated that goal like I supported Real Madrid. Oh, of course. That overhead kick. Oh, I'm telling you, bro, I still got the carpet, man. Bro. Man <laughs> slid on my knees, bro. Zidane, in the yard, everything. I ripped my skin off my knees, back as manager. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Perez is desperate, bro. I reckon he just said, you know what, yeah? Like, I'm on my online banking now, bro. I'll, I'll send you <laughs> a million I mean, now if you just roll through now because we're look, dying. Look what's available, though. Everyone's saying, where, where about Arsene? No one gives him a chance. Arsene Wenger. Who? Awesome thing. I think awesome he's going. Who? I think he's going to Italy, bro. Awesome who? I think he's going to Italy. You know? He's good at the pundit thing. Yeah. He, he's good at just saying, oh, I he nearly bought this player. Do you know I nearly bought Ronaldo? Do you know I nearly bought Messi? Do you know I nearly bought Kante? Wenger was going on about. <laughs> He just he needs to get a book. He turned down the Real Madrid job three times. So where, yeah. where's the offer? But that's what I'm saying. He turned them down and then realised he's shit now. Has Wenger got a book? Hmm? Has Wenger got a book? Maybe that's what he's doing. Well, maybe yeah. that's what if he's he doing. If he hasn't, he should maybe just write right. a book about all the players he nearly got. All right, the last WTF moment is the Tinker Man, Mr. Ranieri. I mean, I can't, be I can't believe it. He's got an aroma, yeah? Yeah. In less than a week as well. That must have been done underneath the carpet. It's, sorted it's like being sacked by Lidl's and going to Harrods. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, isn't it, man? It is. That's one hell of an upgrade, blood. It's true. It's actually true. That's definitely an upgrade, isn't it? That is like that is literally like Margaret Thatcher to Margot Robbie, fam. <laughs> it really is, blood. It's like it's Roma, isn't it? Like. Do you think it's gonna go all right for him at uh, Roma? 
I think no, it's Italian football. I suppose he's, he's used to it. it suits him well better. Mm. Man, are forgetting that he's won the Prem. Like he's not a dead manager, but you can only do you can only handle what you've been given. You just mm. got to look at Oli now. Mm. When everyone was like, oh, look what happened at Cardiff. Like you see, all that noise is gone now. Yeah, you know no I mean? one ever says that anymore. By the end of the day, like, you know I mean, if you're giving shit tools, there's only so much you can do, innit? Leicester, didn't he? But, yeah. but yeah, but he had brilliant players at Leicester. He just he just bought well. Because if you think that Mares cost 500 bags or something mm. like that, Kante, Kante didn't place. cost no money. Yeah. He bought very bought well. Kante <laughs> took him from Villa. But he also, yeah, but he also had some substandard players that he turned into a team. Wes Morgan. He did. Yeah. But, yeah, but no, he I did mean, a job, though. Do you know what I mean? But when you've got... He turned it into a team performance. Yeah. He did, exactly. but Jake Moore was good enough beside Kante. And then you yeah. got Riyad Mahrez yeah, and then Jamie Vardy, proven I mean, goal scorer, big, do you know what I mean? The like, big player he had was the uh, the guy that went to Chelsea with um, Kante. Kante. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. So we had players, innit? But when you go to Fulham and you ain't got ballers, you know what I mean? You, you've been here the Champions League. Because Ranieri's won the Premier League more recently than Wenger, would you have taken him at Arsenal? I don't think he would have. <laughs> <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> no, no. He went for it as well. He's going to answer it seriously, he thought. He was like, he's, he's setting me up. To do me, <laughs> I don't think he would have suited Arsenal for some reason. I don't think he would have. No. He's a winner. Because he plays more than one formation, that's why, isn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm happy with Dick at the moment, don't I? <laughs> Dick, Dick Emery. Emery. <laughs> <laughs> right, what the footballer time now. Um, I like this part of the show, but an extraordinary case this week, man. Um, at St Andrews in the in the in the East Mid East Midlands derby, um, Birmingham against Aston Villa. Jack Grealish fan just jumps over the advertising board, runs on the pitch, and just fucking smokes him. Onto Bro. the floor, then he goes on to score the winner. Yeah, but the way he banged him though, like if you watch the replay, when the fan ran onto the pitch, nobody even flinched. They yeah. just watched him run past. No player reacted to mm. that. That surprised yeah, me. It's man. Disgusting. Yeah, you know I mean, mean, no yeah. player didn't react to that. I've seen yeah. fans run you on before, and other players have if jumped. I, I'm not being, and I hope don't take this wrong. If I, if I was a player on that pitch, I would have been tempted to, with that yeah. guy on the floor, I'd have been tempted to put absolutely. my foot and look, you know his head. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Sorry. And that's how, that's how I feel about it. I really. Bro, if a man can get disgusting. close enough to you to punch you, yeah, he could have stabbed, man. Like, that's you know how serious. Yeah. I would have well, stabbed him up. There's, there's talks of, you know, what next? I mean, do you know what? Scott Brown was saying for Celtic, mm. he was saying the other day, because it's been happening in Scotland. Yeah, Scott Brown's a saying, bad boy, he would punch exactly, you up. Exactly, but he was saying, though, it's getting to the stage where, and then the next day that happens, and then you get that idiot at the Emirates as well. I thought he was going to go for a as well. He just gave him a little push as well. After what's happened, yeah, it just hyped up. You can tell that fan probably got an idea from the Grealish thing. Probably, oh, I'm gonna do the same thing. But are you worried that like players can actually get some serious harm and they no. need to actually start dishing out some smoke to show? I know, I think they need to do that. I think they need to dish out the smoke anyway. I yeah. would, even if it wasn't me you're running at you and I see you coming on, I'm taking you <laughs> up. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Bang you in your head. The steward. the steward even pushed Jack Grealish in his face yeah. as well. Yeah, right? you know, yeah, but exactly after all that happened, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? You know, st- yeah, that was like, and Grealish just like shut them up. That was like someone coming in to rob your house, yeah, but you've just got the 12 gauge. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take my shit, bro? Fucking hold this, innit? And you know you get, <laughs> and you know you get no. that whole like, if you've been robbed, like, should you, should you get done for murder? And if you killed someone, you for me, that's, in your for home. Me, that's what that was like. For me, that's got to be a life man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's time for one of the favourite parts of the show. Claude, this is called Meme Street. This is where we take a look at the funniest memes from the week and just have a laugh at them, man. Let's see what we got. <laughs> uh, so, Footy Accumulators, War Prowse got to be very strong shout for an England call up. Any other players we reckon Southgate will call? War Prowse, Wan Bissaka, and Rice. Thought this was an Asian meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I have the number 39 with a War Prowse or Wan Bissaka with some rice? That, 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 that does that. I've got to admit, that, when he hit that free kick, I did jump up. That was yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I think we all did. Mr. Whippy, we bruv. Ward Prowse, I'm telling you, like he's, he's got the touch of the Beckham. He's, about he's, him, he's, he's he got a better free kick than Beckham. Ward he's Prowse. a bad boy. Now nah, it's up there. Yeah. It's up there. And it's not a fluke. Like, no, no, no. Exactly Ward Prowse is, 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 is gravy, bruv, when it comes to free yeah. kicks. Like, I'd love to see expressions of his face when that free kick went Oh, I can imagine it was mad. I can imagine. That was funny. Um, when the ref asks to see your studs before. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? And All the ladies trying to just show the heels off. With, the, with the one red bottom and that. You know what I'm saying? Sprayed on because they ain't got the action. Oh, bro. Um, that, is, that is spot on. Callum Augustin, you know what I mean? Ladies yeah. night out, but he's been quite quick with it, really. See your studs, mate? Quick foot up. That's like quality. That. I do like that. Those are the good old days. Um, in the 70s, mate, I thought this was Ray Parlor. This does look like Ray Parlor. <laughs> it does look like Ray Parlor. <laughs> you know a lot about more, the, more about the Romford Pele than us, you think? <laughs> 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 
Yeah. That looks like Ray Parler, He's bro. gone from the run for Pele to the run for Pornhub, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look at him. That definitely looks like him, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he, he didn't score many times, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, he fucking certainly has in that. Like, he was saving it for his 70s, mate. <laughs> All right. This Real Madrid fan got a tattoo of Sergio Ramos, but it looks like Lionel Messi. <laughs> oh, it does kind of. You're pissed. It does pissed. kind of look like Leo, but it does look, it does look I, like I Sergio. I think it looks like a bit more like Giroud rather than Ramos. Yeah, that's a shout. Is that a ball bag hanging up? Oh, what? bro. <laughs> oh, is that a, wait there. I don't know what no, that that's is. Oh, that's a girl, brother. Bruv, change that, out. bruv. That's dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, They've hey. tried to do us with that. The real actual thing is that. <laughs> hit play, Rance, hit play. <laughs> Neymar's mum and Neymar. <laughs> what? You might have been his mum's bum and that, bruv. Did I just see that? Look on for Neymar. That, that's, why you went, his mom's that's why you went out the Champions He's League. He's tapping that ass on his mum. That's why he went out the Champions that, League, bro. Do you he's see a, that? Replay that. That's look, his look mum. His right hand. Look, God. He's cut his mum's backside. Look at that. That can't be his mum. That's bullshit. That's his mum, Ruba. And he's tapped that. It's like he's at a titty bar. He's just giving her $2. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Allow it, Neymar. That is awful. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, look, oh, here we go. look who it is, blood. Hey, Rance. Let me tell you something, blood, yeah? Gabonese Jamie Vardy. My man went to Portugal because he knew what was going to happen. You understand? But the thing is this, blood. You see the internet? The internet's global, blood. So whether you're in Portugal, whether you're in Jamaica, whether you're in Africa, China, New Zealand, Australia, you're going to see this, blood. Yeah? You're going to see this, blood. How do you feel, blood? Ollie's at the wheel. Is it, does it still feel good? No. Does it still feel good? Does it still feel good, bro? Pogba, Pog roll, blood. Lukaku. Are you mad some B-Tech Stormzy? Fuck out of here, blood. Yeah? Fuck out of here, blood. Yeah? You see that cold? That cold's gone, bro. You understand? Skittles pen. All right. Yeah, I'm bored. Uh, <laughs> troops giving it. Troops giving it your boy. Um, Troops was carrying on saying to us that, you know, looked like we felt, felt like, you know, won the fucking Champions League. Hey, bro, I'm just impressed that he knows five countries. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, there was that. Especially like, being under the influence of that much drugs. His geography's all right, isn't it? Bro, Must have been the only GCSE he got, bro. The, like, He's talking about BTEC tech qualifications, that, bro. bro. Troops got BTEC in fucking geography. That's how he knows them <laughs> countries, bro. <That's> Okay, now it's time for the comment section. Claude, just before Rance introduces it, this is where we take a look at the YouTube comments from last week's show and the previous week's show, and people just have a go at us, come, come for us, yeah, no holds bars. Some people talk a lot of shit, but some people actually are quite, quite funny. funny. Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> Rance. Yo, we're gonna head over to that comment section for don't at me, argue with your mum. Don't at me, argue with your mum. Okay, starting off with a little bit of love here, man, like Flex and Ranch, sick content, keep it up. Yes, love and, that, five, and 400k as well. You know what I'm like, saying, man, 400k. You know that, 400k on the channel. Um, Scars Music, Flex and Ranch, bringing the band special on YouTube. I'm watching in my pants. It's all right to that. Yeah, for real, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You, tried, you just ruined it for us, bro. You really ruined but it for us. Love Scars Music. Hold tight, you know what I mean? Put some clothes on. <laughs> Richard Evans, United below us in the league and are halfway out the Champions League. So, are, so you are the pretenders. Oh, uh, that age well, didn't it? Halfway out the Champions League, what are you saying? Like, last eight, yeah? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Speaking of last eight, man. He must have, he must have fought top. <laughs> you called him. You know what I mean? Yeah, there you go, innit? Speaking of last eight. And they went and lost against Birmingham. Looks like that was about five minutes ago, innit? Man, like Richard, bruh. <laughs> Old tight, bruh. Looks like he's sucking on some lemons right there, man. <laughs> Old tight, dick. So, what, you, he must have fought Tottenham? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, bruv, them man are in for a stressful finish to the Premier League season. <laughs> um, can't believe Rant said he was coming to the Emirates on a dragon. Saw a man riding on a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah, like Chris funny. Gravy. That's funny. That, that is funny, funny because it's that true. Is funny. That is funny. Because it is before, true. Before the game, Rant yeah. said, I'm coming to the Emirates on a dragon, mate. Yeah. I, I, know, I think you forgot he was going Portugal. Yeah. No, no, you know what happened, yeah? Like... I was meant to come Emirates and then I had two dates to go to Portugal, innit? It's my boy's birthday two day, innit? So he went away for the weekend for his 30th. 30th. And it was either this weekend or next weekend. 
Mm. I can't do I couldn't do the coming weekend because I've got a concert that I already paid for on mm. Friday. So I like bruv, man spent fucking eighty pounds on a ticket. I'm not missing. Fuck you don't have to explain yourself to these punks, bro. Just say I fucking went. Nah, there. but you know what it was? <laughs> Who's so, birthday? Who's birthday? Nah, my mates though, innit? So oh. it was my mates' thirtieth, so it was one of them ones where it had to be done, bruv. So I had to miss the game. I was gutted. I wish I was there because I'd have jumped on the fan cams, but yo, Portugal was that waving. Is funny, like. from Chris Gravy, because he said that. And then I saw a man riding on an open top floor, but It's the truth though, he's yeah. not and lying. He put WTF he's not lying. Flex it like it's the type of teacher so he gets violated by the kids and cries when he when he when he no one listens to him. I'll be the type of teacher to pick you up on your fucking grammar and your sentences. That's <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to come for me, Claude, as doing the yeah. teacher thing, can't and you say. fucking can't even look. No one as well. No. N O with number one. So who's that, Harry Kane? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even read, haven't even read the rest it of it. He says, big up rats for being the shoulder to cry on and cream his back in the night. Uh, well, K Bricks, listen, um, I think you need to just take it back. I'll be happy to give you some, like, my card, I do private tuition. Um, about 20 pound an hour, but I'll drop the price for you because you evidently need it. Um, um, and we can brush up on them grammar and them sentences, yeah? Nice one. Kid Vibe says, uh, Rance went full on the rock promo, Steve Flaps, cleaning my trainers while brushing your teeth, you rock bottom to you. <laughs> Claude, just let Can you, you explain that one. that one in English, yeah. please? Mate. <laughs> Basically, there was a guy called Steve Flaps last last week. We went in on his last name, called him Fanny Flaps. He got destroyed. <laughs> and then Rand said, "I'll put my foot basically so far up his ass. He'll be cleaning his, his trainers whilst brushing his teeth. Um, just ripped him a new one, basically. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that is true. You did you did rip Steve. Man, he had to get it though. He looked like some old Spice Graham Sooness, bro, with a moustache. Oh bro. yeah, that guy horrible, holding man. the baby naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Like a fucking yeah. cross between Adam Johnson. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Raul Gonzalez says, got to give it to you, lads. Hurting more, though, through laughter. A man's got a kidney infection. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to cause um, insult to injury. Um, this is part of my Tuesday to do list now. Keep it up. Big up, list. Raul, bro. See, we do get a little bit of love as well. Yeah, it's always, it's not love, yeah. It's yeah. nice, that's what it's nice to do. Yeah. But I, I know I'm probably going to swipe to the left and there's going to be a bastard comment next because that's what they're going to do. But we do get a little bit of love as well. Um, man like Fanny Flaps got <laughs> See, Fanny Flaps, he yeah, got it. Same man, Steve Flaps again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a name well, though, Flaps. <laughs> that, I, I, you know what it is, yeah? You can't choose your last name, innit? It's all about family heritage. But if your last name is Flaps, just remain humble and don't come after people. <laughs> um, I cannot pronounce that first name, so I'm going to call you Sudi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> only retards with their hairline on the back of their heads and drug addicts watch this show. Um, like I said, I can't pronounce your name. Um, and man looks like the guy out of um, guy last Friday. So God, looking those at cheeseburgers, man. Looking at the phone. That raised expression. Look at it. Looking at the phone, it takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it, guys. We've come to the end of this week's show. Claude, you enjoyed that? Yeah, it's been a pleasure, boys. It's funny, man. isn't it? Yeah, it's been a pleasure. You're going to pay me in lunch and vouchers for this? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you a beer. I'll get you a beer. <laughs> really Do you know what I mean? No, no thanks, it's been for, a pleasure. thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure. And, um, Get you back on again soon. And you know I mean? yeah, get me back on again soon, and hopefully we're maybe both in, in the top four and celebrating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah imagine we both don't. Make then we it. can oh, have peace. That. <laughs> if, if we both don't make it, we, we'll go out together and get drunk. Then we can all have <laughs> peace together. Gold exactly. DT, me, you, Ren, all have peace. That. <laughs> 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 yeah, could not that could work in your answer. I don't know. I think we can have peace. Yeah, call it peace. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that's been the WTF show. Um, remember to keep getting at us. Follow Ultimate Football Fan. That's where it's all happening, and get at us through the week, like you guys have been doing on Twitter and all the other socials with your WTF moments. Rant What's your socials? At Ransom Mance on Instagram, Twitter, and obviously on YouTube. That's it. Uh, Claude, you want to shout out your Instagram, your Twitter, any of that, Jazz? Claude AFTV1 on my Twitter, and um, of course I've got my own channel, which I'm not, not doing much on it, but I'm trying to think of soon something on it. Yeah. And you're what, Guna Claude on Instagram? Guna Claude on Instagram as well? And Guna Claude on Instagram. That's it. I'm Flex UTD across all the socials on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we will see you guys same time, same place. Get out of it.